We all know that we have to go to the doctor for a checkup, but what about a 2017 financial checkup? Wealth strategist and tax attorney Rebecca Walser is here to tell us why it's so important. Yes. Good morning. Despite your <laughs> despite your shirt this morning, Carly cannot stand the new props. To me. Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I know, Carly. You're like, what does this have uh -huh, to do? Uh -huh. she, she can't take it. She was just looking for an excuse to wear a gator shirt <laughs> today. Do you? Well, it's college football. Season, I, know, you know? I know. And actually, um, when I went to law school at University of Florida. I bought in, in the fall, I bought my first little gator uh, mm -hmm. snowman. And so every time it's f college football season and I'm wearing my gator stuff, I think of my little snowman. I think it's really the end of the year and it's time for the end of the year checkups. You know, doc, check them off, doctor, uh -huh. dentist, and people need to do an end of the year checkup on their finances. Well, I was going to say, you you do that. I don't know how many of us do that, <laughs> but you're trying to encourage more people Absolutely. to do that. And Absolutely. why is that? And are we looking at the current year? Are we looking at next? I mean, what are we looking at when Absolutely. you're actually looking at your financial records? You know, of course, we always start off the year talking, Carly, about how we want people to be mm -hmm. planning for the for that year. So at the end of the year, we kind of, I, I like to actually write down goals and have it, and I'd like okay. to take their goals and re -back, look back over them. How did we do if we said we were going to shoot towards saving X percentage of mm -hmm. our account, you know, of our earnings per year? How did we actually do this year? Did we actually meet our goals? What happened with our budget? Did we have unexpected expenses from a hurricane, for example? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is the best time to go back through what your plans were and how you actually fared so that we can make adjustments going into the new year mm -hmm. and we can certainly make plans around catching up if we didn't achieve all of our goals for this past year. Now, we're talking about doing this at the beginning of football season or October. October, but how often should we be doing this a year? Is this something every six months, once a year? Can we let a year go by? <laughs> Carly's always trying to get out of everything. Um, seriously, I mean, the, be the, the more often we set goals and we revisit them. You know, I used to, I tell this story all the time on the radio, I used to write goals with my husband every year on New Year's Eve, and I don't know what we were thinking, but we would literally fold them up, put them in an envelope, write our name on them with the year, and seal them with tape. <laughs> and then the, a year later, we would actually open up, you know, on the yeah. next New Year's Eve, we'd open them up and be like, oh, I forgot I even had that goal. <laughs> so the point is, don't make goals that you're not going to, like, keep constantly okay. reminding so yourself. Slap that baby up there and remind yourself. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know we did what we were thinking, yeah. but the goal is to make goals relevant is to keep them always on your daily life, you know, a goal in sight. Mm -hmm. I think an important part of this uh, puzzle piece, though, is it just like with doctor and health checkups, if you are not going to the right doctor and the right team, so I'd true. imagine it is just the same for your financial checkup. Absolutely true. I mean, a lot of people see a financial advisor maybe five years before retirement, and that's the first time they've ever done any kind of planning. Obviously, the younger we start, we've we've done mm -hmm. those charts, Carly. The younger we start, the less people have to actually set aside. Mm -hmm. But there's no time like the present. It is it is the time to look at this past year. And if you haven't ever done mm -hmm. this before, let's set up a plan now to from where you are today to map out to where you want to be when when that time comes when you're when you're ready to just enjoy life and do nothing else. And I wanted you to brag on yourself because not all financial planners are the same. So yeah. I think that's extremely important as yes. we kind of wrap up here that yeah. you are calling the right people that's to right. do your checkup. Thank you, Carly, for that. Thank you. So, even if I'm yes. a gator. <laughs> <laughs> I know, even if she's a gator. She's a seminar. Which, by the way, I couldn't let this pass. Let's put this on here yeah, as we there wrap you up. Go. See, this is this is great. No, they're not ranked. Like <laughs> it's all right. Sorry, all right. I'm sorry. She's, gotta own it, right? Yeah, you gotta own it. I, believe we we've go. had our season, I don't want to cover right? up my there we go <laughs> Good to All see right, you, Carly. as always. I know. Right, here we go. we got to do that. Uh, there is the there information, though, if you have any questions. Even though she's a gator, she <laughs> is a wealth of knowledge. And there's her website and her number to call as well. Thank see you. you. Soon. Thanks, Carly.